Hello and welcome 20 something entrepreneurs. My name is Colin Stover. Welcome to the first ever Friday afternoon book club. Today we're going to talk about a great book I found called Unstoppable Referrals, 10 times the referrals and half the effort. I'll be the first to admit that I was kind of skeptical when I read the title. Really? 10 times the referrals? And I also know that the author, Steve Gordon, he's a student of a marketing guru that I follow, Dan Kennedy, that can tend to breed students on the somewhat hyperbolic side, and I can get that way myself in my marketing. But I can see how the things laid out in this book could really work. It all makes sense. Now I do believe that your mileage may vary based on your industry. I think there's some industries where it is really, really easy to refer people and I think there's some industries where it's a lot harder to refer people. If you've ever been in the organization BNI, you'll know that. There are some people who go into BNI and they just get lead after lead after lead after lead and there's some people who go in and they get a couple leads a year. So it depends on your business and it also depends on the average value per customer because for some person, you know, 10 referrals isn't going to be a huge deal, but to another person, two referrals might be their entire year. So it really depends on your type of business, how many referrals you get out of the ideas that you could implement from this book. But I do believe that in the right business, yes, you could absolutely get 10 times the referrals out of this book. And for some people, they might not need 10 times more the referrals. So Steve opens up in the book with the real reason that you aren't getting all of the referrals that you should. And he tells you, frankly, that deep down inside somewhere, there's two reasons. A, you feel uncomfortable asking over and over and over again to your customers, your friends, your family, your JV partners. It's an uncomfortable situation. You're stepping outside of your normal values to essentially take from somebody is how he puts it and on some kind of unconscious level you don't like that and so you try to avoid that pain by not asking as much and as frequently as you could. Uh, the second reason is that your customers or JV partners they feel uncomfortable with putting somebody in a sales situation because that's essentially what they're doing whenever they refer you. When somebody says hey you should check out my chiropractor you should meet with him oh he's the best. Well you're putting them in a sales situation and that can be uncomfortable so sometimes people don't pass along referrals for that reason alone. The cure to this as proposed by Steve is to develop what he calls a referral package which is essentially a lead generator like a book or a CD that you can give to your referral partners so that they can give it to the people that they refer you to. So instead of handing a card out, handing your business card out, they hand out your book, which comes off as a gift rather than putting somebody into a high pressure sales situation. He also talks about how you can increase your referrals by doing a podcast and then inviting all of your referral partners to talk and become stars for a brief period of time, which I thought was an interesting idea that I've started to implement. Now, I haven't done it long enough to see any kind of major results from it. I've done maybe three to four uh, interview style podcasts. They aren't related to, to the 20 something entrepreneur or anything like that. Um, so I haven't done it quite long enough to see any results, but I can see how it works and it's really easy to actually book and do these interview podcasts. So I recommend giving it a shot if you read the book uh, and you want to do that. Definitely give it a shot. It's not that difficult. Now I'll admit I've been doing the referral package thing for a while, but perhaps not to the extent that Steve proposes. This is my book for my magic business and I have three others that I've written and I give these out at every single meeting. Uh, all the time, right? I kind of try to use this as my business card. Now, unfortunately, I don't always have it on me, which is mistake numero uno. I should be carrying it on me at all times so I can just give it away. It only cost me $2.50 to print these. Um, but anyways, I can see that if I started to implement more what Steve talks about as far as what I plan to do with this book that could get a whole ton more business for my magic business. So um, I think the fact that I haven't gotten the same results as Steve is says more about me than it does about what he teaches in the book. Bottom line is this is an excellent book and you can get it for just a penny plus shipping and handling but still it's only going to be like five dollars which is a steal for books these days. Uh, you can get that on his website at Unstoppable CEO. Dot net and I just want to put it out there that I don't work with Steve I've never had even a conversation with him I just like the book so that's why I'm recommending it I hope that's helpful if you like the idea of this Friday afternoon book club let me know in the comments below I would love to hear it 
Also, if you enjoyed the videos so far and you want to see more, consider supporting me on Patreon. In case you don't know, Patreon is kind of like Kickstarter, except I think it's even better. Where Kickstarter is transactional based, you pledge once and you get one reward. Patreon is subscription based, so you decide how much you want to pledge per month and then you get awesome rewards on an ongoing basis. It's automatic and you can cancel at any time. Just visit www.patreon.com slash the number 20 something entrepreneur to check out what kind of awesome rewards you can get to help grow your business and market yourself. And I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to talking to you guys again soon. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.